So, a lot of people have been asking me lately how I create a Soundwave's voice on Audacity. I could just send you the link to the tutorial that I watched to figure out how to do it, but I think I'll just show you how I do it myself. So if you have Audacity, great. If not, go ahead and download it or something like it. It's really easy, honestly. So first thing, obviously, you're going to want to do is actually record Soundwave's dialogue. And if you know Soundwave, like any Transformer fan would, you, you know that Frank Welker uses the same voice for him as he does for Dr. Claw, the Cave of Wonders, Station. So let me just go ahead and record that real quick for you. Soundwave Superior, Autobots Inferior. So there's that. What I like to do is I like I sometimes lower the pitch on my voice to make myself sound a little deeper. But I mean, if you can already go this deeper, then there's no need for you to take that extra step. So this is what it'll sound like. Soundwave superior. Autobots inferior. Okay, and then next what you're going to want to do is add the carrier effect. So let me just get that real quick. So you can really use any effect you feel like would create Soundwave's voice well. This is what I use. Uh, basically, what it is, I don't remember where I got it, but it's just like a simple guitar strum. Like, an, it's an electric guitar uh, chord, but I slowed it down so it's not here. Let me mute that real quick. So it sounds like this. I'm not going to make you listen to the whole thing. Oh, another thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make this a mono track. So there's just one line for each of them. So these both have to be mono in order for them to work. So then what you're going to want to do is trim this so it's just a little longer than the sound wave dialogue. And then that's what you vocode together. But if you want to like lower the pitch or raise the pitch to make it sound like he's going up or going down or kind of alternating between lines like he does in the show, then what you want to do is you want to take the part that you want to do on the, just on the carrier, and you're going to want to raise or lower the pitch. So I'm going to lower the pitch a little bit when he says Autobots inferior. So let's lower that down to say negative eight, let's say. So it should sound something like, let me mute that, it should sound something a little bit like this. To the beginning. Yep. So then we just go ahead and trim that a little bit so it's flush with the other sound. So together they should sound like. So then what you want to do is you want to is you want to add these two together and make them the stereo track, a single stereo track together. So Okay, so I've got the carrier coming in through my right headphone and the dialogue coming in through my left. And at that point, while this is still selected, go up here to effects and you're going to want to go down here to vocoder. And these are the, let me just double check me. Yep. These are the settings that I use for Soundwave. You can feel free to just play around with these and make it your own if you want. But these are the settings that I do for Soundwave. Go ahead and apply that together. And in the end, it should sound like this. Soundwave superior. Autobots Inferior. And there you have it. Soundwave Superior. Autobots Inferior.